And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello, everyone, and season's greetings here. We're a day past the winter solstice that happened on Sunday, and now the Christmas holiday is just upon us. And welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Monday, December 22nd, 2025. And talk about frigid temperatures. So up there, the eastern interior along the uh, Alaska-Canadian border, 62 below zero this morning at Chicken, Alaska. That's one of the normal really cold spots. It was 56 below at Northway and places like Toke, Northway and Chicken will be back down in that 55 to around 60 degree below zero range tonight into Tuesday morning. We're watching a couple of frontal systems and low pressures that have worked their way along uh, the East Asian coastline up through the Bering Strait and that's going to provide some snow and blowing snow along the west coast into the interior leading up until early Christmas Day and then we'll be watching the potential for uh, some heftier snows uh, up along the Gulf Coast into the Panhandle as low pressure will be uh, developing there and sending an atmospheric river right up uh, into the Panhandle region after Christmas that would be Friday night into this upcoming weekend. So keep that in mind if you have any uh, holiday travel planned. And then overall, much below normal temperatures are likely to continue across a good portion of the state into the early new year, especially the same locations, the southern eastern mainland into the panhandle. And looking at uh, some of the uh, FAA webcams up there at Buckland, uh, way down on the south end of Kotzebue Sound and east of the Seward Peninsula, Heavy snow and blowing snow, only one degree there. They're dealing with that front that's coming on through now, and there's going to be another round of snow coming through here for Tuesday as the next system comes in. Denali Park entrance, I've flown out of that airstrip, very cold, 36 below zero. And again, the number of temperatures even colder than that across the interior. Northway, clear and frigid, 47 below. They were 56 below zero uh, this uh, Monday morning, and they will be back down around that mark tonight into early Tuesday. And even for Juno, clear and very cold, one above. I talked to one of my uh, forecaster friends who spent some time in Guam, so quite a change for him now relocating in the Juno area to forecast. And looking at the hazardous weather map, we've had one front come in, another one is gonna be coming into the west and then spreading moisture inland. So we have winter storm warnings now, these areas in red, and that's point lay down around the Lisburn Peninsula, surrounding Kotzebue Sound, all of the Seward Peninsula, and uh, then into the east side there of Norton Sound. And some of the stronger winds are gonna be here through the Bering Strait where there could be blizzard conditions at times here, and I'm sure up there around Point Hope, uh, Cape Lisburn, when you get the uh, snow going with those winds. And then as that frontal system pushes eastward, we're going to see the winds pick up here along the Beaufort Sea coast, parts of the, uh, especially as you go up here through the road system uh, to the north slope. There's going to be blowing snow develop, and it could even be uh, blizzard conditions there at Kaktovik here as we get into the day Wednesday. Now further south, as we get into later Tuesday, Tuesday night into Christmas Eve day and early Christmas day, this moisture is going to butt up against the Alaska range and really precip out. So we're looking at six to 12 inch snowfall amounts spread out over a good two day period. So it's not a heavy snow in terms of short duration, but it's gonna add up. And it will impact holiday travel along uh, the interior road system here coming up for Tuesday night into Christmas day. And then we still have uh, cold weather advisories for areas along the Alcan border. And further south, we have all of the panhandle either under an orange uh, cold weather advisories or extreme cold warnings in red just because it's colder than normal. You factor in wind chills below zero. As I said, Juneau was only one degree uh, for air temperature uh, at two o'clock this afternoon. And looking at the satellite, we still have a low circulation down south of Haida Gwaii, just kind of lingering weak trough of low pressure back into the Gulf. And we have a stream of moisture coming in from the North Pacific on the west side of the uh, Bering Sea. And we have another low pressure that'll be tracking up into the lower Chukchi Sea on Tuesday. We've already had the first front come in that brought snow and blowing snow. That's uh, the area around Buckland showing that snow blowing snow as of this Monday afternoon. And here comes the next round and that moisture will be pushed in across the interior 
uh, giving areas uh, from around Fairbanks over toward Tanana and up against the Alaska Range up to Gobbler Stop, some moderate to heavier snowfall uh, leading up into early Christmas Day. But here we have the high pressure sitting right over the Yukon. So again, places in the Yukon along the uh, eastern Alaska interior, 55, 60 below zero air temperatures. Dead calm, clear skies, might as well look for the aurora if you happen to do it, because uh, we are gonna have maybe a little enhancement to the northern lights tonight just because of a high stream solar uh, wind that's uh, coming in right now. But late tonight, we have another low approaching the Gulf of Anadir. We have lingering trough of low pressure and one south of Haida Gwaii. By Tuesday afternoon, that low's crossing the Chuck GC with another warm front. This warm front just is enough to boost temperatures along the coast, uh, especially the YK Delta's back up a little bit above freezing. And that little bit of warmer air is all it takes coming in across the colder air in the interior, really allows it to snow out. Pressure uh, Tuesday afternoon will be up to 1047 millibars over the Yukon. So as I said, tonight should be maybe a couple few degrees colder into Tuesday morning uh, in the normal cold spots of eastern Alaska and the Yukon. And then uh, as we get into taking a look at the winds for tomorrow, we have those winds picking up with that system. That's why we can have near blizzard conditions at times here, uh, especially through the Bering Strait. Strong gusty winds up uh, upwards of 45 miles an hour or so. And then as we uh, get into Wednesday, that system is already passed up along the Beaufort Sea, off of the Beaufort Sea coast, but it's gonna cause the winds to increase along the Beaufort Sea coastline, creating snow and blowing snow and possibly some blizzard conditions around Dead Horse on over to Kaktovik. Meanwhile, just a weak lingering trough of uh, low pressure off of the panhandle through Haida Gwaii. High pressure, 1041 millibars, still strong cold northeast easterly flow across the panhandle, so clear skies, but very cold temperatures. And then here's a hint of a low coming up out of the North Pacific. That's the one as we get into Thursday will eventually have impact. But in the wake of the system, Wednesday afternoon winds are gonna be quite strong here near and east of Prudhoe Bay to Kaktovik. That's why this area is under winter storm watch because blizzard conditions are possible here as we go through the day Wednesday with those stronger winds and some lighter snow. And then on Thursday, uh, we find the front pushes south. It butts up against the Alaska Range. So Thursday is Christmas Day. The snow will be diminishing in the interior Christmas Day morning and certainly by afternoon, but the front just kind of butts up against the Alaska Range and it's gonna kind of wash out and weaken. But, but this low and this energy is going to eventually come up into the Gulf for the end of the week, later Friday and for Saturday and Sunday. And that's when I think it's going to be pretty interesting here. You get a two, three day period of very strong moisture coming into the cold panhandle. Uh, areas that stay all snow could see quite a significant amount of snowfall here. Uh, as we go through the weekend into Monday. So stay tuned to later forecasts because I'm sure there'll be watches, warnings, advisories issued for that later uh, after we get past Christmas time. Uh, looking at temperatures tonight, another very cold night, 52 below Yukon Flats, at least 55, 56 below at Northway. Uh, again, Dawson City be 55, 60 below there. And then uh, five below Skagway. We have temperatures in Anchorage also around five below, but notice out to the west, not quite as cold. In fact, low stopping around 30 degrees. Uh, Kipnik on over to uh, Makoriuk. And as we go into Tuesday afternoon, notice the warmer air coming in with that front that's creating the snow that's gonna overspread the interior. We get temperatures a couple few degrees back up above freezing, 35, 36 degrees. Bethel on along the lower Yukon coast and uh, Kuskokwim Delta, 34 at Savunga. High temperatures though are gonna have to struggle to get above 40 below at Yukon Flats and Northway on Tuesday. And then for Christmas Eve day in the morning, not quite as cold, but still some 40s to near 50 below uh, Yukon Flats, Northway. Uh, temperatures single digits above or below zero in the far northern panhandle, teens elsewhere. And off to the west, uh, you, those modified temperatures, lows in the 20s here across the lower Yukon and the lower middle uh, Kuskokwim uh, Valley. And as we go down along the Alaska Peninsula, temperatures there stay above freezing. And then for Wednesday, cri uh, Christmas Eve day, Notice how that milder air does briefly penetrate into the central interior, getting temperatures back up 
into the teens and 20s above zero with highs near freezing uh, at places like Bethel. Uh, this is going to quickly cool back down after the system gets by, but nevertheless, it is a, a moderation in the pattern. Hence, that's why we expect some of that heavier snowfall up against, especially the north side of the Alaska Range through Tanana, Lake Menchumanon over toward Fairbanks, White Mountains, Gobbler's Knob. That'll have impacts on the uh, interior road system that could slow down, delay some uh, holiday travel. So plan for accordingly if you're going to be doing some driving uh, on uh, Wednesday, Christmas Eve day and Christmas Day morning. And of course, nothing has changed here. Uh, this is what we've been anticipating, what I've been telling you about much of the month is we're locked into this blocked pattern. So we have very cold air that's going to be residing over the southern eastern mainland into northwest Canada. So below normal temperatures across the state with a moderate likelihood of much below normal temperatures here over the southeastern half or third of the mainland and into the northern panhandle December 28th through the new year. Now this has been because we're a day further along but yes as I anticipated too above normal precipitation and with those kind of temperatures guess what that means. Potential for heavier snow as we get that system pull moisture in up out of the North Pacific across the Gulf and then we have low pressure sit and spin in the Gulf. There could be some hefty snow amounts here uh, after we get past Christmas time starting Friday night through Saturday, Sunday and early the following week just before the new year. So stay tuned to later forecast here if you're in the Panhandle, Northeastern Gulf Coast, Wrangell, St. Elias Mountains. This area through here could be getting in on some heftier snowfall. And again, if you have any travel plans flying and things like that, you're going to want to pay attention because it may be tougher to get out of, or in to some of those communities as we get closer toward the new year. So everyone have a safe one out there and enjoy the winter time in Alaska.